Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about how to play bebop. The device we're going to use is called bebop scales. Bebop is basically a language that we use in jazz to describe the changes. The changes in the sense of what changed, what is happening actually in the chord. For some of you guys who are on the channel for a while, I have done a similar video with bebop scales. So this is a new rendition, hopefully improved and more exciting. When we play jazz, there is this progression that keeps reappearing. It's called a 2-5-1. You all know it to a certain extent. It's basically the second degree to the fifth degree to the first degree of the key. One of the devices that helps articulating the tension on the five, on the dominant, is the bebop scales. When we listen to jazz, whether it's Coltrane or Charlie Parker or Bill Evans or Red Mellow, that idea of tension and release and treating the dominant, the five, as a very important place is really one of the main points. When we're playing and practicing that idea of bebop scales, we're basically tuning our ears to the tension and release within that progression. I'm gonna go over seven options to play this scale. I'm creating more content like this, so if you're new here, please subscribe and share this video with someone that needs to be bebopped. If not, just hang. Before I dive into all these options, I just want to say that when we have a 2-5-1 progression, in this context, we're going to drop the 2, so we don't pay attention to the 2 chord, we only pay attention to the 5 chord, so all the tension is on the 5. Now, the basic concept of the bebop scale is basically to articulate the chord. In that sense, we're trying to hit as many chord tones on the downbeats. The downbeats are the stronger gravity points in the measure, therefore, we put more tension there. We're adding chromatic notes in between to make the downbeats fall on the chord tone. So it sounds like we are articulating the chord. I would take all these ideas into context. So if you're comfortable with the blues or a certain standard, I would put that in a standard and start articulating the changes and trying to create my own lines. There are written examples for all the things that I'm talking about. I also made a PDF that is available on my Patreon, so you can go and check it out. The 2-5 progression that we're dealing with today is C minor 7, F7, B flat major 7. So 2-5-1 in the key of B flat. So we're dropping the 2, we're not thinking about the C minor, we're just thinking about the F7, the tension, to the release, to the tonic, to the 1. I'm basically playing F7 scale, F dominant scale and adding some chromatic notes. The chromatic notes will be between the 1 and the 7, the 3 and the 2, and the 2 and the 1. These are the three options and you can see it written down here. First option. What we're doing is we're taking F mixolydian, F7 scale and adding chromatics within that scale. Each time from a different scale degree we're just going systematically up. So from F, from G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, and F. And it's all in relationship to this note F. In this example, I'm basically only adding one chromatic note between the one and the seven. So the rule of thumb is basically we're adding chromatic note to hit the chord tones. One and two. From two, we'll do two options, either zero chromatic, so basically just playing F7 scale descending, or two chromatic notes. Again, the same reason, we want to hit as many chord tones. Zero chromatic, two chromatics. Sounds like jazz. From the three, we have two options, one chromatic note or three chromatic notes. And it's kind of a rule, it's either zero or two, one, or three. Zero chromatics or two chromatics, one chromatic or three chromatics. And again, the idea is we start each time from a different scale note, and then we're descending. One chromatic from the three. Three chromatics. Now, for me, I'm trying to see it in position. So I have an idea of F7 here the scale and I'm using all these chromatic notes around that position. Of course I can do it in different areas and it's all good but at least as a starting point I would utilize 
the scale and the position that I'm here. So at least one variable is not being adjusted. From the four, zero or two. Or two. From the five, one or three. Three, four. Or three. From the six, zero or two. From the six, zero or two. Now two. From the seven, one or three. Three, four. From the one, you can also do one and three. I just didn't want to do it in the first option because it's kind of like very low. So from the one, one or three, three, four. So if I'm doing two full octaves, of course, it will be falling on the downbeat of the next bar. Three chromatics, three, four. Thanks so much for listening. I hope this was interesting and informative. Please share this with someone that needs to bebop his or her life. And I'll see you guys Thursday.